Hey everyone, I thought before I left for a week I would give you an updated cage tour just so that you've got a video and hopefully I'll get something else up during the week but maybe, maybe not. So this is an overview of um, the cage in this now. It's got two store-bought cages at either side and then um, kind of CNC grids at the sides to give them some space to run around in the middle. It works out as a 2x5 which is a good size. 2x6 would be better but I needed to move some junk and didn't have space really. So in the cages they've got soft wood bedding and in the middle I've got two layers of towels and a layer of newspaper. So if we go down here in this side they've got a hay rack and water bottle, got their litter tray and the house that comes with the cage, there's a little teddy in there and on top of there their food bowl sits on here and it's got like an indentation so that they can't knock the food bowl down so that's good. Um, out here they've just got that wooden thing there blocking off the corner, they can't actually get around behind the cage but I don't want them going down there and just per permanently doing droppings. And then they've got their cosy tunnel there, all three of them like to sleep in there together. <laughs> Edible log, Ollie's all excited, must be happy I'm leaving. <laughs> um, they've got a chew stick there and a jingly ball. Um, their cuddle cup sits here, I usually put a face cloth in there so that if anyone wheezes in it then you can clean the face cloth rather than having to wash the bed every couple of days. Um, and they've got a nibble stick there. And then over on this side I've put the igloo in here. It's basically just so there's two separate houses in case they're arguing. Um, they've got their nod down guinea pig stick there. Another water bottle and a hanging chew toy that nobody's ever chewed. And a pickle eating a hay rack. So that's basically um, a quick cage tour of what they're in just now. So that's me going to be gone for a week. My mum's going to be looking after the guinea pigs so I've left her some instructions on how much to feed them etc. Um, so I hope everyone has a good week and I hope you enjoyed my little cage tour here. Okay, bye!